So starting the test drive in the 530i, it's a pretty quick car with this twin scroll turbo four cylinder. And of course with the eight speed, it's pretty snappy in terms of shifts. And we do get that 48 volt mild hybrid system. So that just helps you with power output when you have your foot down. But all in all, love the driving dynamics. I don't think I've ever been in a BMW where I didn't like the driving dynamics. But of course this one's no different. Pretty quick on its feet. Love the steering feel. Comfortable yet agile, I guess. If you could put it that way. Let's put our foot down. So extremely quick, again, for a four-cylinder turbo. I'm gonna give myself a little space here and then give it a pull. So sport mode there. Pretty quick again. So we do have lane departure warning, which is helpful. And I don't think we have adaptive cruise it's kind of hard to tell in the bmws for me it has that green assist button so i have to double check but pretty good ride coming down the interstate here And very quiet in the cabin actually not like it should be surprising but it just it is the road noise is pretty minimal wind noise not at all intrusive most i could just hear that 18 wheeler screaming as it drove down but very impressive sound acoustics in the cabin and brake pedal feels very nice It doesn't have as much bite as I was expecting when I first hit the pedal, but you have so much room to just keep braking harder and harder. I'm gonna put it into manual mode and just show how quick the shifts are here. So extremely snappy. But yeah, just the car is, it's very, very, how do I describe it? <clears throat> the sound acoustics again are just fantastic here. I just feel like everything is dead in through the doors and the windows. Almost like a, a sound chamber kind of feel here, but not necessarily echoey. So very luxurious, let me just put it that way. But I think this is a pretty good competitor for, I don't wanna necessarily say the C-Class from Mercedes, but a step up from that, probably the E-Class, a good competitor. And there's just, there are very few companies that are still making cars, even at this time in 2021. I mean, you have like the Lexus ES, maybe I don't even know if they're still making those because everybody's just trying to go away from cars and go to small SUVs, mid-size SUVs. But there's just something about a vehicle like this that is, you know, it's fun to drive, it's fast, but then if you're wanting to use it as a commuter car, the ride is fantastic, the sound acoustics in the cabin are fantastic, and you can get pretty good fuel economy when you have it in that Eco Pro mode. 
But now that I'm sitting here, I don't think this has adaptive cruise. It might just have forward collision alert, and maybe that's what that means because I can't adjust the gap or anything for the cruise control. So I'm assuming the adaptive is not on here. And I've seen very few BMWs, basically since 2020, that come and trade here at Chevy and Murfreesboro that have the adaptive cruise. But all in all, love the car, love how it drives, feels, and the amenities as well, other than not having that adaptive cruise. But other than that, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2021 BMW 530i X-Drive.